Sunny today, even hotter tomorrow. Lonnie's here with your first alert forecast. Lonnie. You betcha. But, you know, Danny, you said something that at, uh, earlier in this newscast when you said, sure, it's hot outside, but the humidity is so much better. Nice and low. So yes. wait till you see what we're dealing with. The picture right here that you can see is a good looking one. Some white puffy clouds out there. It is ultra comfortable because of what Dana's talking about. Sure, you're 87 degrees. Just feels better than that because you're not, you know, sweating like crazy outside. 90 was your high. All right. So this could kick off a low grade heat wave for us here in New York City. But look at this, those temperatures right now. There's that 87 degrees in New York City. All right, year 88 for Sparta. That's about the biggest number I can find. 80. Oh, look at that, an 89 for brick. But now, factor in this idea that the humidity is so low, it doesn't feel like 87. It feels two degrees cooler. So that's a good thing out there. What do we have for precipitation? Come on, this air is so dry, really not picking up anything except, look at this right here, little bubbling light, light little shower up just south of Kingston, south of Poughkeepsie. And there's the throughway right there. A couple of drops out there. Hmm. Wonder where that's coming from. Well, I'll show you where that's coming from. Here's your big picture. All right, we've got this front up to our north, and really this low pressure system will come in behind the high and give us a chance for rain on Friday. But as of right now, with that high circulating, you're actually grabbing a couple of showers and kind of just making their way in really in a very slight fashion to some areas well north of the city. Don't expect much. This rain, all right, up around Minneapolis is going to be our rain by the time you get to Friday. Maybe a couple of showers in the morning, better chance would be later in the day. Got to get to the uh, the Atlantic Basin and see what is brewing out there. And the answer is, uh, there ain't much. And it's crazy to think that here we are, the 24th day of August, and we've had very, very slow activity this hurricane season. I mean, there's a couple of waves out there right now. There's actually three. That one's just not showing any sign of developing. These two waves, all right, one right near the, the coast of South America, approaching the Windward Islands, the other one coming off the coast of Africa. Both of them have a 0 to 20% chance of developing. I'm going to keep an eye on that. I will tell you, on this date, 20 years ago, we had, a, we had a storm that went into Miami, Florida. Miami went to bed not expecting too much, and in the middle of the night, trust me, my family lived in a uh, homestead at the time, and the, the house literally was blown apart around them. That was Hurricane Andrew. 20 years ago today, one of the, you know, few Cat Fives that devastated the United States. But think about this. That was August 24th, and that was the A storm, the first hurricane of the season. So it's been slow thus far. Now we could get an active season as we look ahead. Remember, the National Hurricane Center still thinks it's going to end up being an above average season. We'll wait to see how that plays out. I do want you to know that on Friday we have a 10 to 20 percent chance for the area shaded in green to see possibly some severe weather out there. So here are my numbers for you. Tomorrow, hotter than today, 91, mostly sunny skies. Getting into the extended forecast, we are 89 on Friday. I have that shaded in yellow for the potential. The possibility that you could have some strong, possibly even severe storms out there. Then you get to Saturday, 86. Sunday, you're 84. It's kind of, look, it's not the same forecast for the weekend that I was talking about yesterday. I think the coastal areas could see a few more clouds in the mountain areas. And then I do think Sunday we'll see more clouds come in. They sort of build until a pop-up chance for Tuesday and Wednesday. But notice, you're back to temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday, right around 90 degrees Jeez. again. This could be a low-grade heat wave that we're just kicking okay. off today. All right. Thank you, Lonnie. Okay.